what's going on guys welcome back to the channel I'm out here today uh, this is my buddy's truck here he pulls flatbed with he bought a dump trailer for his farm and uh, this is a, I guess a quarter frame dump is what they call this he needs some work on it uh, he wants to put a wet kit on his truck uh, I thought I was gonna get out of messing with this project uh, he had another guy start helping him on it and they worked on it for about four or five hours I got the pump mounted on the transmission and uh, the other guy decided he wanted to go deer hunting and he couldn't get a hold of him for two days so some kind of way I got kind of doing this uh, so anyway I don't know I'm not gonna be able to video this process but I thought I'd show uh, show what I'm working with what we're working with here and uh, the other guy had told him to get a tank for behind the cab uh, that it was gonna be too much trouble to, to put this one on there and I told him that wasn't gonna work because it's gonna hit the airlines where the airlines is done on this truck where they come out and you couldn't get to your battery box right here so I had him to go exchange the tank and bring the side mount tank and uh, he wanted it mounted high so that it wouldn't get caught up on nothing and uh, I got that accomplished for him and I uh, got the got the holes drilled this step here was right here where the tank is I relocated the step right here and uh, this catwalk's just sitting here I've got to uh, do something with that I'm not sure yet I'm trying to get him to uh, Let's hook this pump up as a three line uh, where we got this plug in. You have one uh, one suction line come off your tank. Right here, we got a valve right here. We got a suction line gonna come off this tank. The fitting he brought me and the hose he brought me is for an inch and a half hose. I wanna put a two inch hose on it and go to the pump with that. And uh, so I'm trying to talk him into let's do that and then bring a, a hose a return back to the tank on this side here will be your second line and then you put a t in here and come up with another one of these to hook to like if you were going to do a walking floor trailer or something like that and then uh that way you got both ends but uh i'm not sure that he's going to let me do that we'll see and uh, that's what i'm trying to get him to do if we do i'm going to have to modify this step right here some more this bottom steps have been missing here ever since he had the truck so that's not a big deal uh i can notch this out around somewhere and i can fab him a step in there some kind of way to make that work uh, that's the only place i can put it right there that will clear the quarter fender and everything uh in the way the the brad, uh, battery box is bolted back there so uh i can make that work uh, as far as the pump, it looks like they did a halfway decent job mounting it, uh, but there's one thing I'm concerned about uh, is the sleeve. There's a sleeve that goes in your inlet of your pump that is uh, for running at his third line. He thought the sleeve went on the shaft uh, where it goes into the PTO, and I'm not sure if it's the same sleeve or if it's another sleeve. I'm not sure how this pump's done. Uh, so I'm kind of wanting to pull that pump back apart uh, just off the PTO and take a look. Uh, he said they supposedly got the clearance on the gear right where it goes in the transmission and all. Uh, so hopefully that's right. Uh, I'd hate to see him tear up a pump right off. But anyway, I didn't start this project. I just got conned into uh, to helping finish it, I suppose. Uh, somebody has had the pin out of the dump trailer cylinder and did some welding on it up there and I guess they just carried it back to auction and left the pin out of it uh, they did include the pin he has it in there we have to put that back in there and then we have to hook up something for the airlines on the other side I'll take you around to the other side around there hold on all right this is the other side around here one of these uh, it's for the lift axle back there the third axle and one of them is for the tailgate locks I'm not sure which one But he doesn't have any airlines on this truck to operate it either way. So we're gonna have to plumb up um, I'm guessing the air solenoid on the truck on a 12 volt circuit with air solenoid air going to it So that when he flips the circuit, it'll pressurize the tailgate latch and let the tailgate open and I'm thinking the air lift uh, axle back there I'm thinking that needs to be connected to air all the time I'm not sure I don't know a whole lot about this dump truck stuff but I'm a learning and uh, it has a switch on the other side for this lift axle uh, that flips and I think that it uh, 
that it will uh, allow us to do that because there's a pressure knob over here to adjust the pressure on it right here so I don't know which position I don't know if that's supposed to pick it up that's supposed to let it down is kind of what I'm thinking uh, and then this is adjust your pressure how much weight that the axle should carry so I'm thinking if we just hook up uh, a line going to it right there that it should be fine and uh, he's just gonna haul some stuff around his farm some rock and stuff for himself that's all he's gonna do with this thing this older trailer but uh we got some new tires or newer tires to put on it we got to do that i'm gonna put some brakes and stuff on it and brake drums uh and kind of fix it up and like i say not going to get the video of all this but i wanted to uh kind of show i'm waiting on him he's supposed to have been here two hours ago and i'm still waiting on him but anyway uh here's the tailgate latch right here uh i don't know why they got this modified the way that they do but that needs to be done something with I don't know what they I don't know what the deal is there but <laughs> I really don't know I guess they're trying to that's their method of trying to tighten the tailgate up I suppose but anyway um it has that's the uh cylinder right there that works the uh tailgate latches oh man what a project I was trying to really, really, really trying to get out of this. I'm gonna show you this tire on this lift axle. You think they could have run that another day or two? When you buy something at auction, boy, you don't never know what you're gonna get. So, uh, anyway, we also gotta fab up something else on these quarter frame and frameless dumps. Your fifth wheel here, plate, pivots, along with the fifth wheel on the truck and they make a kit that you can block this fifth wheel and we don't have one uh and he just stuck a board under it to try to keep it but you can see it's rock forward now uh just to tow it home from the auction but we got to do something different with this to get this fifth wheel set and flat so it don't uh so it don't rock back and forth when he when he picks up a load with it uh so we'll have to do something with that there and uh he's having a new hose made for the cylinder right there also uh that hook to our new hose there uh and i've got it secured up under there Let's see if i can take a take a look see up under here i don't know if you can see i'm not crawling up under there in that mud but there's the pump right there and you see the bracket on the back of the pump mounts to the back of the transmission so they did okay on that uh they had to do a little cutting and welding to do that and uh they did okay on that but uh, i'm just worried about that sleeve you see we still got to run a suction line there and i'd like to run a like i said a third flying back uh return line to this tank but i'm not sure if we're going to do that or not yet that's up to him that's what i suggested to him uh, but anyway, I'll take you in here and show you what else we got for it. While I'm waiting on him to get here, he's in a hurry, but uh, he's not here and he's supposed to be here two hours ago. So you know how that goes. He's going to be in a hurry when he gets here. Uh, he's got me nine buckets of uh, hydraulic fluid here. He's got an airbag for the lift axle that lifts it up. One of them's uh, missing. And this is an inch and a half suction hose uh, for the tank. And like I say, I want to swap that for two inch, but I don't know if that's going to happen. And this is the uh, air shifting, air shifted to engage the PTO. So we got to hook all this mess up. And uh, he got all new valve stems and stuff for the uh, tires, which is good. So we'll have to mount all that and uh, that's all he has left of the kit and that's nowhere near enough air fittings uh he's got a few things in there but anyway so this is going to be one of these projects and uh like i say i'm just waiting on him to get there get here that way we can uh get started on this and he was wanting to get this done like last week 
And uh, yeah, he's a long way from it. Somebody told him it'd take like five hours to put this wet kit on. I told him he was crazy, it wasn't gonna happen. Uh, him and the other guy wound up spending four hours getting the pump on there and shimming the pump up to the transmission and getting the clearance right. They had to build that bracket to mount on the back to keep the, the pump weight from hanging off the uh, PTO drive. And then it took me, uh, I got about seven hours and relocating the steps and getting the tank mounted and uh, then trying to do some plumbing to the pump and figuring out just all we had to do yesterday messing with it. I spent about seven hours messing with it. And uh, then he wanted to come over this morning and wanted to finish it up. But uh, he's two hours late. The time he gets here, the places that we need to get air fittings and plumbing fittings from is probably going to be closed. So I'm guessing it's not going to happen today either. So I don't know what all we're going to get accomplished. But anyway, I guess uh, that's the story on this. Oh, this is the pen that's got to be put back in as well. Uh, that looks like some really homemade mess, but that's what he's got. So I'm sure that'll be fun to put back in there as well. So anyway, I'll try to give uh, you guys another update if I have a chance uh, and uh, show you how it turned out or what we what we done if I have a chance uh, a little later on. All right, guys, this is day two on the dump truck project. Uh, we didn't get much done yesterday. I'll tell you why in a minute, but uh, what we're doing is I'm going to do away with the way they got this hooked up right here. Like I say, one of these is supposed to be for the lift axle and one of them is supposed to be for the tailgate latch. I don't remember which is what, but uh, doing away with that and I'm hooking them both into the uh, main air tank on the trailer uh, back here so that we don't need all that. We're getting, uh, we're gonna get our air from the uh, emergency service, which fills your, your tank up back here. Uh, that's how like flatbeds and stuff work on lift axle. And I figured the new dump trailers probably do as well. I don't know, but this one's going to. Uh, so I've got part of that already done and I've got the lift axle where it would work, but they had the lift axle actually mounted on, uh, the solenoid over here instead of the switch that I showed you so they're using this solenoid right here with this green wire going to the front with a toggle switch uh, along with air hooked up to that uh, port over there uh, to make the lift axle go down and uh, I don't think most of these solenoids are not a hundred percent duty cycle uh, so if you leave it on long enough, leave the lift axle down long enough, it's going to burn the solenoid up. Uh, so this valve right here that came on the trailer, uh, I took it out and cleaned it. They had uh, disconnected it from the back side right there. You can see that. The ports are right here. And there's one on top. And uh, anyway... I took it out, cleaned it, and lubed the valve and blew air through it with shop air, and it seems to function. Uh, so I want to disconnect these lines here and put them back in there, and then that way when we flip this, uh, it'll raise the axle, the lift axle up, and put the lift axle down. And this is your pressure regulator for your uh, lift axle here, and then this here. Uh, I've cut this that went to the front of the trailer over. That was other port. This works the tailgate latch back there. And I got to tap the uh, supply port on that air tank back here. There's a port in the top of the tank right there. I want to tap that and run a line from there up to here to supply air to the solenoid. And... Uh, or I could splice one of these lines here with a T either way and this is the tailgate latch we'll put it in the other side of the solenoid and use this solenoid just leave it mounted in the same location but use it to operate the tailgate latch and um, I'll be supplying all the air from the trailer tank coming from the emergency port where you hook your glad hands up that way if you ever wants to pull the, the trailer with something else 
all you need is a normal hookup instead of this mess that they got on here uh, like I say I'm not sure what they got going on but we're gonna fix some of that and so all I need to hook in the truck is a toggle switch with 12 volts going to it uh, essentially the same thing I have in my truck over there uh, pulling that spread axle flatbed right there I have a dump axle on the uh, the rear the rear axle set up with a dump solenoid and uh, I'll show you that real quick but uh this is their tarp motor wiring here uh, that's a complete mess as well you can see it up there at the top <clears throat> let's see here see that solenoid right there that dumps the air for the these airbags right here on this rear axle so you can turn sharper and all I have to make that work there's a nice spider there he's hanging out I'm gonna kill him I don't like spiders whatsoever but all I have in the cab is a toggle switch mounted on the dash that supplies 12 volts and it hooks up up here you can see that wire I have just kind of hanging and wrapped through the hoses there right on the other side of the light cord there it's just got a quick connect little uh, butt splice little plug on it and you just push it in there and then when you flip your switch in the cab you can dump the air on that rear axle. So I'm going to do the exact same thing on this dump trailer. And when you flip the switch, it'll operate that solenoid. It'll open your tailgate. Flip the switch off. Tailgate spring-loaded latch. It'll lock back. And uh, I'll cut <laughs> probably the majority of this crap they got on here off. Whatever it takes to get the spacing right. That this closes with no slack in it. Uh, I, I'm sure that's what they were trying to do. But they... they uh, I made garbage out of that so anyway that's uh, what I'm gonna do there and we did pull the pump off yesterday uh, the PTO pump up under the truck and uh, they did have that sleeve installed in the wrong spot up under there still can't see up under there they go around to the other side and uh, try to shoot you guys under there <laughs> zoom me in here okay see that red plug right there that's on the back of the pump and that red plug is where the little sleeve goes and they had the sleeve on the input shaft of the pump so if they would have engaged the PTO uh, it would eat the input seal of the pump up because uh, they thought it was some kind of spacer but it is a uh, it diverts the fluid in that pump that's the suction line on the pump which comes off of the tank let's see here that's the suction line on the tank right there where that valve's at and it's going to go to that red port right there on the pump. Pull that plug out. I already stuck the sleeve in there so we didn't lose it. Uh, but it's just a little thin metal sleeve. And then when you do that, you have to pull this top plug out. Right there, you see where the bottom hose goes in? And then there's a little valve thing in the middle. And then there's a top pipe plug. You have to pull that out and put a return hose on the pump and the return hose on the pump will come back over to the other end of the tank over here which we have currently capped off so we got to change that and then we're also going to put a T right there and we're going to bring up another hose a return hose that comes up right here to hook to a trailer so if he wants to pull a walking floor trailer or RGN uh, detachable neck trailer or something like that that he'll be able to uh, he originally was not going to do that and uh, I talked him into it because uh, this tank holds like it's a 50 gallon reservoir so if you fill it up with oil and you decide you want to pull a different kind of trailer in the future you have to remove this pipe plug right here to plumb it you're gonna lose all your oil and that's a lot of money in oil so I told him that 
our best bet was we'll go ahead and notch this step and uh this step's been missing since he had the truck so it's never actually been on there so uh i'm just going to cut it off probably and i may fab it up a little higher above it i'm not exactly sure yet how i'm going to do that but uh we're going to put a another valve here with a 90 going that way and then the return line will come in the pump like that and then there'll be another one off of it that'll come up here i'm also going to an inch and a half suction on this that's what we uh that's what we discussed you see how that nipple right there next down from the pipe size that we have here that's an inch and a quarter pipe and it necks down to uh they used the inch and a quarter hose that should be at least an inch and a half hose see how it steps down that much so it'll be about the same size as the pipe thread but anyway that's what we're going with on that and uh so we got not very much at all accomplished yesterday because uh, me or my friend, neither one of us really drank. He decided last night that, uh, or night before last, that he was going to go out with some friends or something to a friend's house, have a few drinks. He did, evidently had a few too many. And uh, he showed up with a hangover and couldn't really function. And I got to looking for him. He came up missing. I got to looking for him. He's in the house in my recliner asleep. So uh, anyway didn't get a whole lot accomplished uh whatsoever but i went ahead and, and worked on it by myself and got sorted out on the on the wiring harness and whatever and the plumbing uh, back here the air fittings and stuff and wrote down what all we needed that way he can go by and pick up everything and get us some more hydraulic hoses made some more fittings uh, so that we can get this thing at least halfway properly hooked up so it'll work that all you have to do is hook up your light cord and all the air will work off of your emergency line right here and uh that's just your normal service brake line and you have to have your brakes your trailer brakes pushed in in order to dump one of these trailers anyway because uh it has to roll something has to roll either the truck has to roll or the trailer has to roll when it goes up uh so you have to have some air supplied anyway and that tank holds there so there's no reason to, for us to have those other two airlines over there i don't know why they did that but so all you have to hook up is that and then one hydraulic hose right here that'll be sticking out of your main cylinder we have to have that made he had one made uh that the other guy told him and it was too short uh by about a foot so we having another one made and uh that'll be the right length Hopefully, it needs to be about a foot and a half. We'll make it about a foot and a half longer so that it'll uh, work out and have a little extra clearance there in case he turns real sharp. And uh, so that's what we like on this project. And I'll uh, add a little bit more to this if I can when we get uh, when we get a little closer to getting things sorted 